guys, welcome to our first tutorial video on starting a new campaign in Battle Brothers. Now we will go through all the main menu options quickly before jumping into the new campaign options. So here we have loading a campaign, or that of course loads a campaign. We have scenarios that you can play. These are ba basically very short uh, practice sessions where you get a fixed troop that you can equip a little bit to some degree and you are pitched against different enemies in different environments. So this is very good to try out equipment and try out tactics against different factions without actually losing something. Now we have the options tab. You have all your video options that you would expect, for example, the UI scaling and the resolution. We have the audio options, the controls and the gameplay options. Now here are a variety of um, different things that you can use to make the game cater a bit more to your preferences. For example, you can um, go for the faster movement animations or this is important for many players. You can turn on auto loot. And with this turned on, you will always loot everything in the post battle screen um, without uh, being able to miss something or leave something behind. So that's a little help that you can use there. Now we also have the tutorial videos. videos. Those are linking to uh, this series of videos, the credits, and you can create the game, of course. Now let's uh, get into starting a new campaign and the options that you have. First thing that pops up is the company origin. Now this is a feature that we added with Warriors of the North DLC. Um, that is this DLC. And um, it adds a huge variety of different origins for your Battle Brothers company that you can choose from. Now all of these origins are designed um, in a way to make your playthrough unique and different. And they give diff different advantages but also disadvantages. Now, for new players, we highly recommend picking the first origin with the tutorial. There you will have a couple of contracts and um, messages in the beginning of the game that will help you out a little bit. With each DLC, we also added more origins. So the list gets longer as you um, add more DLCs. For example, also the, um, the gladiators that come with the Blazing Deserts DLC. Um, now let's take it for example the um, the Dafkul cultists. They have some special rules to them. You will start with a group of cultists with a very poor equipment, and uh, cultists will join you for free, so you don't have to hire them for crowns. But also uh, the dark god Dafkul will demand sacrifices from you, where you have to sacrifice some of your own men. Um, to get more bonuses and boons from your from your god. Now this is a very unique um, origin that you can uh, go for, but if you want to go with something um, less fancy, you can always just start with a new Battle Brothers mercenary company uh, or something um, similar that's not as special. Another one that's also a very big challenge is uh, the Lone Wolf, and. In this uh, origin you start with only one fighter, that is a Hedge Knight, and uh, he will start in heavy armor with a good weapon, but once he is killed your campaign is lost. So um, usually in Battle Brothers you can lose all your men with no problem, as long as you have at least one left. But if this character dies then your run through is over. Now on the top you can see the difficulty rating for the different origins. One skull is the easiest and two or three skulls are more difficult. Um, let's quick, quickly pick this origin and um, go on with selecting our player banner. Now here we can pick a banner for our um, little band of mercenaries and you can also change the name um, to something that you like and um, something that you personally think was good for your company. Now we go through the uh, banners. These are some that we added with the Warriors of the North and DLC. This is a classic banner, this one also. And here you can go through all the banners and pick one that suits you. The banners will also be found in game on the shields, for example. You can paint the shields with your banner and uh, one of your fighters will later in the game also obtain a banner as a weapon that you can wield in, in battle. Now, you can also pick the late game crisis here. 
There are three late game crises available. The Nobles at War, the Greenskin Invasion, the Undead Scourge and the Holy War that we added with the latest DLC. Now, um, all of these add different challenges to the later part of the game. For example, in the Nobles at War late game crisis, um, once the game has progressed enough, noble houses will start fighting each other and there's a huge war breaking out between them and you can, as a mercenary, of course, influence this war and partake in it and have to fight a lot of other nobles on the field of battle. Now what ties into this is this option, permanent destruction. If you check this box, settlements can be destroyed permanently in the um, late game crisis. And this can be quite a problem because goods and services will be less available and this can also end the campaign if um, too many settlements get destroyed. So let's pick this one. Now we are coming to the difficulty settings. As I said before, um, Battle Brothers is a very, very difficult game and we highly recommend starting with the tutorial um, origin. And we also highly recommend setting all of these on the beginner difficult difficulty for your first time playing the game. The game gets um, very, very difficult very quickly. And this gives you a bit of leeway to learn all the ins and outs of the game before jumping to a higher difficulty. Now we have the economic difficulty. This, um, this will set the amount of... Um, uh, of money you have to pay in goods or services in cities and um, contracts will give you more money so on a higher difficulty you will gain less money and have to pay more in general the combat difficulty is over here and um, the beginner difficulty will give you a small bonus to your combat stats the veteran difficulty will give no bonuses and expert will make the game even more harder with more enemies in uh, in the contracts and so on the starting funds, of course, are very straightforward. It's just the amount of crowns you start out with. And Iron Man mode is for people who really want to challenge themselves and pick a mode where they're not allowed to save the game. Um, despite, of course, when leaving the game, then it will automatically save. Now we have a map seed that you can look up online. Uh, in the forums, for example, there are lots of map seeds that are shared. Now these will only work with the according DLCs. And we added a new option, it's uh, the unexplored map. So usually when you start out, the map around the human towns will be revealed. But with this option turned on, there's only the area around your player character revealed and all the rest of the map is covered in the fog of war. So this gives um, a much more uh, room for exploration and um, it can be a very fun way to play the game. Now, in the next video, we will go to the world map and I will tell you all the um, important information on the world map view and um, what to look out for and explain a little bit of the UI and the options you have there.